Tonight was one of those nights that was just very, very special, raising money for charity and in the company of two absolute legends in the form of Dame Joan and Lady Frances. Frances Siegelman sculpted Joan Collins, Dame Joan Collins, for the charity and her bust is ready and we've given it to Joan Collins and it's been revealed tonight and that is a really, really lovely thing because it's the end of a project that we've all worked on. Joan has been incredibly supportive of us as a charity. She's a very kind and generous woman. When my mum started the charity, she wanted the work that they do to be free to everybody. I think it's really important that we try and reach as many people as possible. And the work is going national now. And really, all the money that you give to this charity goes to the charity. I am a breast cancer survivor. And so I can appreciate that a place like the centre at Penny Brown in Bristol is very important. And cancer is... Um, around us all and affects us all in some way. The charity supports people to live well with cancer. So if you have a cancer diagnosis, we will support you with health, with your diet, with a whole body approach to healing, alongside your uh, diagnosis and your own therapies. We were all on edge waiting for Dame Joan to respond to the great unveiling because, um, as you will know from the adverts, if she hasn't had her Snickers, it might have been a bit unpredictable. But she was, you know, she, she could see the artistry involved, she could see the care, the attention in, uh, involved. I mean, the sculpture, she just got it just right, didn't she? I mean, it looked absolutely fantastic. When I look at Dame Joan's sculpture, I think what Frances gets there is not only a representation, a likeness of the person, but the glamour, the glamour, because Joan Collins is the epitome of glamour. I think she really did think she captured her as Joan sees herself, really. She said herself, you know, the cheekbones, the earrings. I think she was quite impressed by the diamond earrings. Frances really talked about the energy that comes off Dame Joan Collins. And I think she was absolutely delighted, particularly with the facial expression, the nose, the chin, and those amazing eyes that she has. She is so glamorous and she's so youthful. And I think that really shone through in the bust. I think when you look at it, there isn't anybody that wouldn't think, wow. She is somebody that has lived and experienced possibly everything and anything in our world. She has endured a lifetime of brilliance on screen. She is a national treasure, isn't she really? Eamon's head, Eamon's, was absolutely brilliant. It really sort of captured that Irish charm, for want of a better word. I was sitting on a couch with someone chatting away and uh, I looked across the room and I thought, wow, that's me, that's me. And I was very, very flattered to be chosen as a subject. I just think that is where a lot of her work is different from, from many other people, that she delves that bit deeper, she has that much more interpretation. We're obviously extremely grateful to Francis and Jack. They are behind this whole project, Jack. They're amazing philanthropists. And they connected with Penny Brown UK. They're warm, loving people and they want to make a difference. Francis and Sir Jack are always helping others to raise money for charities. For that, I think they're, they're very special people. They take philanthropy, for me, to a different level. They go way beyond uh, anything that we've experienced at Penny Brown UK before. The fact that they think of others, the fact they don't have to do this, they don't have to get involved, they don't have to create these events, the interest in the profiles for which the charities benefit, what they do. And theirs is about giving back, theirs is about being thankful, um, and theirs is about celebrating and, and spreading the word. And I just think that's what good people are all about.